an Afghanistan and Iraq war veteran and his family. They're homeless tonight after a devastating fire. The flames just ripped through their house yesterday in Hinesville. WJCL's Rob Macko talked with the family today and joins us now with more. Heartbreaking. Absolutely, Kevin. Now, the home is owned by Staff Sergeant Joshua Town and his wife Maggie. There is never a good time for something like this to happen, but three days before Christmas, the timing couldn't have been worse. Investigators say Sunday's fire started in the garage behind Joshua and Maggie Towns' home on Glen Bryant Drive. From there, it spread inside. It took firefighters about an hour and a half to get it under control. The towns were visiting relatives across town. A neighbor called to tell them their house was on fire. I think we found a couple of pictures that didn't get ruined, um, but for the most part, everything we own is gone. Clothing, furniture, electronics, the Christmas tree, and presents. The towns and their three children, ages 7 to 15, lost everything in the place they called home for five years. Your whole life is in one house, and everything's just ruined. It's, it's hard to actually walk through, especially when you just look and you see little things that, you know, oh, well, you know, that's from my kids, but you can't even salvage it. Neighbors rescued the family's two dogs. One of their cats died in the fire. The other one hasn't been found. Maggie Town was a firefighter for three years who responded to fires like this one. She says she never thought something like this would happen to her. I've always been on the opposite end of this. So I've really seen it and now to be the one here, it's just, it's unimaginable. Joshua Town is a staff sergeant at Fort Stewart who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Maggie says her husband has a traumatic brain injury and suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. Army First Sergeant Jose Rodriguez has known Joshua Town for six years. He's one of town's supervisors and says the Army is ready to help out. We start to figure out a ways and organizations that, that are out there and, and ourselves too, of course. You know, we've already got people talking about bringing things in as far as the unit goes to help them out. Fortunately, the towns had homeowners insurance, but their house is considered a total loss. Hinesville fire investigators say they can't determine the exact cause of the fire because everything had burned up so badly. However, they think that the file fire was accidental. Kevin, a sad situation for the family. They say that they are grateful, though, for the community's support in all this. Especially from fellow soldiers, Rob. I mean, it's the least we can do. He's done so much for us. Definitely. Thank you, sir.